Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm gonna continue where I was, and that was like uh, two months ago. I took a much needed uh, break, so um, now I'm back. Gonna start doing the experiment and testing again. What I did in the meantime is do some design on papers. That I did do, but I didn't do any testing or experimenting or building in my laboratory uh, last time i promised to show you the test on the chokes i have here one choke here another one i test them in all kinds of uh, configurations nothing special but i'm gonna show you anyway at this moment i am bypassing the capacitor let's check sorry not chuck check the rpm RPM is now sitting at um, 2177. Gonna connect the uh, transformer first. I'm stepping the voltage down now. This is the high side, low side. The cup is still out of the system. I have here a 5 watt uh, automotive DC light bulb, 5 watt load, not output. I only connected the high side. Let's see if that have any effect on the system. No, not really. Still not that one. As you can see, still the same. Now I'm going to connect the 5 watt load. It is not lighting up. Mm, that are connected right or wrong let me see here um, mm, nothing's happening I wonder why um, by the way I'm doing the test and recording at the same time so I haven't done it before as you can see the light is not lighting up Maybe I should introduce the capacitor in the system, but let's check the RPM one more time. Hmm. RPM is still the same, so yeah. Removing the lead. Ah, still no light. Hey, I must have a loose connection somewhere here. It's been a while since I touch all this ah this one this one is a little bit faulty don't want to work with me today wait for it as you can see it it's coming you know what let me screw it in a little bit so that's better and okay there's a little bit of output capacitor is still being bypassed I can hear the system slowing down and I'm running it out at say 15 volts DC and just above 1 amp yeah RPM is now at 2039 33 so it has drop for around 150, sorry, 140 RPM. Hey, even though I took two months off, that doesn't mean my English is better or have improved, of course. Eh? Still the same. Removing the capacitor now, sorry, introducing the capacitor in the system. When I do that, removing now, the light gets brighter. So it is now no capacitor capacitor in the system being bypassed in the system in other words there's a lead you see when I have the cup in series with the output on one line the output is more but the RPM drop or the load on the driver on the drive side is also more yeah let's check that 
Yep. So yeah, it has dropped to roughly 881 and still decreasing. Okay, this is enough for now. Gonna remove all the scrap and put here the uh, variac and see how that goes. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching this part. Stay tuned. Uh, variac is coming or something like that. Whatever. Anyway. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. And as you can see, I have now on the output one of these uh, small variags. They are small, but uh, they are uh, very good quality from the uh, brand Philips. Uh, at this moment, I'm uh, bypassing the uh, capacitor. I do not have the uh, output connected to the um, variag yet. And still the um, 5 watt load. Um, it's going. The output is going into the variac, and the output from the variac, the adjustable output, is coming over here, going to the bridge rectifier and to the load. Let's check the RPM, and hopefully this time the recording will go a little bit smoother than the first part. RPM is now at 22.12 So yeah, gonna connect first removing the load over here over here connecting the variac connecting the output to the variac so now basically the load is being shorted out to the uh, you can call it the primary of the variac let's see if that have any effect on the system like slowing it down or so we had before 20 to 12 and let's check that again yeah this will drop a little bit as you can see around yeah almost 40 rpm by connecting the output to the variac now I'm gonna connect the load over here I'm gonna start turning this knob to get some output over there turning now ah there it is it's pretty nice to have a variac on your output because as you can see I can adjust it just by turning the knob gonna look for the brightest spot which is around the right here I can hear the system slowing down already that was expected if I, rem if I introduce the cap, the output is less, removing, as you can see, less output. And not removing, the cap is now in the system because I'm not bypassing it. So in other words, with the cap in the system, less output. Removing the cap out of the system by bypassing it with this lead, far better output. And it is output I can play with. That's pretty cool. Yeah, not bad. Right about there is the best spot. Let's check the RPM. I think it dropped a pretty much. Um, because I can hear that. Yeah. It is now around 18 and uh, 63 and still decreasing. But you get the idea. Nice to play with. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Pretty nice idea to put a variac on your load. Sorry, on your output. Make it very much easier to loop it back to the system. To get the same voltage that's going in. Yeah, shutting everything off. Removing these leads over here. Still freewheeling a little bit. Sorry, freewheeling. Yeah. So to hear I'm still tired. Just kidding. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you for watching. Uh, just a little info. Next step, I'm going to remove this um, complete single phase generator. And I'm going to drive it with uh, pulsing three of the coils. 
three cows as drive cows, or maybe four, have to see, and the rest as generator. And hopefully I will have that in a few days time, and not a few months time. Once again, hope you enjoy this, and thank you for watching.